Okay, guys, so today we're going to be having a look at making Wix website for your club. Um, what you need to do is um, using your club's Gmail account um, or other email account, you need to create a login on Wix. You can do it, you know, just using Gmail, for example, um, and you need to have your club's name in the email address. That's really, really important because that will help create your free domain name. Um, Wix will either use Wix ADI where they create a website for you, or I personally recommend the Wix template version where you can pick a template so te uh, you can pick a template Template that you like um, and I'm here on the uh, fitness and sport and health section and um, so I'm just going to pick a random one because I um, I'm just going to try and throw one together for you um, within 10 minutes um, so the way it will work is I'm able to add images I'm able to add pages I'm able to add whatever I want to this website it's completely customizable if you go for the ADI version it's a bit more uh, it's a bit stricter but it's quicker to set up um, so obviously here this is a template for um, Murray Dive School I'm going to pretend there's a dodgeball club called um, Pirates Dodgeball Club um, and I'm going to use some Team GB images taken by Dale um, just um, to use for the background uh, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to um, get going quite quickly on setting up uh, an example for you so I'm just going to load some images now okay so um, it's really really easy to upload things um, I've just got a folder here of all different images that I'm going to use um, and you can great thing is you can either add one individually or you can add you know as you know let's say like 10 12 images at a time I suggest what you do is as a club if you've got um, uh, you know a shared folder you know copy it across um, of, of images for example copy them across uh, to Wix you've got all those images at once that you can use across the site um, obviously the higher quality images the better uh, so if there's any uh, you know if you've got someone that's got a nice camera at the club that can get some good photos um, for the website uh, I really really recommend that again if maybe if there's any on the British Dodgeball um, Facebook page that you've seen of your club that you want to use I recommend you use those um, using like phone images um, won't work as well on this kind of website when it comes to making them as backgrounds um, now I'm going to be putting quite a lot of images on I wouldn't probably recommend doing as many um, I just want to kind of show you how it works so got the image of this um, GB player behind um, this image at the moment. The way Wix works is you've got the background and they add on things called strips um, and the strips are the different, um, uh, are, you know, kind of things that can be put on the website. So a strip could be an image, a strip could be a little mini slideshow, a strip could be a contract, a contract, a contact form. Um, so these strips get added on top of this background. So at the moment we can't see the GB player in the background because there's a strip in front of it. So I'm now trying to replace the image on this strip. Um, the the way that Wix do it as well, they make the web the way make the web page is quite long. Um, so in a bit I'm going to have a go at shortening it. Um, that can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. Um, but once you've got used to it, it gets a lot easier. So as you can see here, I'm just adding um an image here. I'm just going to put that on the background. Um, but obviously I need to change the text now as well. You can see there's another strip here. There's an about us strip. Um, so I'm going to change that as well. I'm going to change the image. Again, I'm using a lot of images because I just want to show you how to do it. Um, if I was doing this for, uh, you know, a club, um, I would make it um, uh, slightly less uh, kind of busy. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see here instantly it looks quite funky. There you can see the image of the Team GB player underneath is my actual background that scrolls as I scroll. Here you've got a testimonial strip, which is quite useful. Um, so you're able then to, um, let's say if I, I'm going to say uh, this Nick guy has been to my club a few times, um, I'm going to you know get his recommendations of the club. So it's a really, really easy way to do that. Um, you know, you might want to, if you've looked at our track and trace questionnaire, um, you've seen how to make a Google Forms um, form, then you might want to use that or SurveyMonkey um, to get the opinions of your club members, um, you know, maybe the club members. If you run a junior club, for example, you might want to get the juniors um, parents' opinions. Um, that's a really, really easy way to get contact content for your website as well as your social media pages so I always really recommend um, using Google Forms or SurveyMonkey or you know however you want to do it if you've got a Facebook page Facebook group even and get people just to comment on the group some good things about the club and then you know straight away you've got some content there um, so this is you know fully customizable I've just changed the background I'm pretending that you know um, the colors match the GB kit for this pirates this fake pirates dodgeball club um, so I'm saying you know it's you know red blue and white so I'm going I want to make the, the website match those colors and you can you know every i like to say everything is customizable all the fonts i just quite like this font and um, the pop in sounds one is the one that i do tend to use quite a lot um, and so you can absolutely, you know, edit anything. I've added highlighter here, so I've actually got the white in as well because I don't really like the blue on the red as much. 
Um, so it's it's really, really easy to use. There's loads of different stuff you can do. You can even create a login members page. Um, while I'm typing this, uh, one thing you might want to consider is that the domain name that's going to come with this, because this is a free site, is going to be uh, not the easiest to remember. Um, it's not going to be a simple one as www.piratesdodgeable.com. You have to buy one of those. Um, but the way that Wix do it is you can pay uh, from £6 a month. I often go for the £8.50 a month version um, because that one's um, got more um, uh, storage space. I think it's 10 gigabyte storage space, uh, which really is a drop in the ocean when it comes to uh, if we're thinking about um, if you're getting in you know, good numbers at the club, um, this is it's really worthwhile spending the £8.50 a month. OK, so you can see down here that there's actually already a map um, uh, given to you on this template. So I can then go and add um, our exact location on the map, which is quite helpful. So I'm going to go again. I'm going to change the name. Obviously, I don't want it to be yellow. I'm going to say it's in um, Truro, Truro in Cornwall. Just very random. I was trying to think of like somewhere random. I think in my mind I was thinking of Pirates of Penzance, but then I didn't write Penzance. I've written Truro. But anyway, so I'm going to make it white. Um, I could change the font if I wanted. I could put it onto one line. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to change it up here as well. Um, and then I'm going to try and find uh, a vector. There isn't any dodgeball vectors. Um, a vector is like a, a, a high quality kind of like a clip art image um i'm going to find something to try and matches the club i'm not gonna be able to find dodgeball because it's quite niche um but i'm probably gonna i'm probably gonna be able to find some kind of basketball um but i'm just gonna do you know do it quite quickly because we want to move on but as you can see there's wix gives you loads and loads of stuff for free there's loads of images for free there's loads of vectors so like Ill illustrations for free i think my top tip is not to overload the site you want it to look quite um in my mind i'd say quite minimalistic not too over the top this one is going to have a lot of images on because i'm trying to show you how to use it so it isn't something that i would necessarily go for um but um a lot of websites nowadays are quite stripped back um we don't want to you know uh, kind of overload the viewer as this one is quite an overload for the viewer um so at the bottom i've also got a contact form um wix uh you can add different strips on um, and then so wix have already made contact forms for you so you can collect the data um uh, this, you know, Wix, I, I've had a GDPR check before um, and Wix is really, is, you know, really, really good um, when it comes to that. But obviously you want to be careful collecting any data, making sure that your members um, are fully aware, what, you know, how the data is being used. So you can see here then, I'm just adding some pages now. So I go to Manage Pages, changing the names of the pre-existing pages that are here. Um, and I can also change all the colors in the background. I'm not going to do that now because I just want to make this to be a quick tutorial. Um, and I'm going to add um, pages for like Contact Us. Uh, I might have a testimonials page. Uh, I might have a gallery. I always like a gallery so that, you know, uh, we want people to know when they're looking at, you know, oh, I'm, like I might send my children to this dodgeball club. I might, I might go to this dodgeball club myself. They, they want to see that there's a, you know, it's an inclusive dodgeball club club that there's um uh, maybe you, you want to show there's juniors and female players and male players try and make it as inclusive as possible um and try you know show show off uh you know all the hard work you've put into your club um you want to show that off in the gallery you maybe get some if you've got some gopro videos from um league for example from uh you know opens get those on your gallery try and really show off the club you can actually embed videos if you've got if you've got the video file yourself you don't even have to put a youtube link in you can put the video file in yourself um onto the gallery page you can see i'm just clicking and dragging the strips up as we talked about here wix runs on these strips um they are quite fiddly sometimes quite slow to move um so i'll just keep talking as i'm doing it um but yeah generally it's a very very good free tool to use uh, if you want at any point and we're going to do this in a bit see what it looks like if you look on the top right you can see where it says preview and you can also see where it says publish at the moment this website is not published anywhere until i select publish um and uh, and so this is i can play around with it i can do whatever i want with it and it won't change on the actual website until i've clicked publish um so that's really good to know sometimes when i made websites before um i've you know wanted to do whole new sections but i'm like well i don't want the people seeing it to see my new section yet because i'm not ready for them to see it that's fine i can edit whatever i want until i click publish then it's ready to be uploaded um so you can see here then this kind of dead space here i might want to add some strips i would probably make it shorter i don't like too long of a home page i'd probably make it short but you can see here all the different strips i can add i'm just going to show you i'm going to add a slideshow strip 
Um, but I can add contact, I can add social media buttons. Um, it is a fantastic free tool for you to use as a club, just to really, you know, um, it, it's something for your members as well. I was talking earlier, you can have a whole section for your members where you can password protect PDFs online and you could have all of your, you know, tactics on there. You can have your calls on there. So all of a sudden, this isn't just a resource for potential members. This is a fantastic resource for your current members as well. So, you know, they're getting more for their money, um, so to speak. Uh, so here, I'm just going to change the images um, on here. Again, I'm going to add some more of Dale's fantastic GB images because they're really, really high quality. Um, they're really, really well taken. Um, and so again, we want to try and show a range. We might want to try and show um, um, people coaching, some people playing. Uh, and then over the top, I can add some text if I want, you know, maybe describe what, you know, the club ethos if you want. Um, a good kind of practice to do, I think, is to send out a, a survey monthly or a Google form to your committee and to your players and get them to describe how they see the club, you know, what the best things about the club. Um, what do you think other people should know when they're joining your club? And then use that content for stuff like this. So you can see I've added some more images. Um, again, it's quite busy because we've got the player at the back. I mean, I probably wouldn't have a player as my actual background. I probably have um, like a, you know, a red or a blue or a white background for uh, this fake Pirates Dodgeball Club. Um, but yeah, as you can see though, it's really, really easy to use. Obviously I've done it quite a lot so I can put them together quite quickly. Um, but the main thing I want you to take away really is, you know, le less is more really. Um, so you can see that the homepage is not looking um, amazing because I've just tried to do lots of different things to show you, but I click on here and I can edit any of these images. Um, and as a note, if you have the free version of the club, it, there will be a bar at the top that says, you know, free Wix website upgrade now. If you want to get rid of that bar, just pay the um, £6 a month. Um, again, I recommend the £8.51 really though. Um, £6 is more for kind of personal use. Um, but you can see here though that it's got all the social media buttons at the top, so I can link it to the Pirates Instagram page, you can link it to their Facebook page, you can link it to the YouTube page, to the Twitter page, so it looks really, really good.